So last session we talk about the <clears throat> recognizing the anxiety and the worry. So today now the I will talk about the methods that how we can overcome the anxieties and the worry. Generally, we have to know the one thing that uh, we every human have the right to live happily. Every human have a right to overcome the anxiety and the worry. So, last time as I told you, when you look at the anxiety and the worries, unhappiness, all these negative emotions comes in our life with the two reasons. Mainly there's the two reasons. The first reason is that whatever you wish, whatever you desire, you cannot achieve that. Second reason is that something unwanted thing happens in your life. What you desire, what you want, if you can achieve that, one reason. Second reason is that the something that what you don't want happens into your life. With these two reasons, makes us unhappy. It brings us more anxiety. It brings us more anger, unhappiness. Now, but one thing we have to know that these two reasons, these two cause, we cannot accept. Skip that. Even the Buddha have not succeeded to escape from the, these two reasons. Even in the Buddha's life, you can see that there are so many unwanted things happen in his life. If you look at the Buddha's life story, one of the king, Anachatru, his name is Anachatru in the Sanskrit, that king waged the war to the, his homeland. He don't want that war. But that king killed a lot of the, his, his homeland people. Even a lot of things happens in the Buddha's life that even the Buddha don't want it. So, now the first thing is that the, what we have to know is that the one thing that, the, as I told you before, we, when we have the every right to live the happily, also we have to know that the, we have the potential to overcome the all the anxiety, potential to overcome the worries. We have a very strong potential. One thing that the very interesting thing is that when you feel the unhappy, when you feel the unhappy very strongly, they are the big difference between the biological response of the male and the female. If you look at the male, when they to challenging the worries, when they are challenging the unhappiness, what will they do? Mostly they want to keep the silence. Female, more they prefer to talk, to release their unhappiness. This is the biological response. That is the one biological response, sometimes that the couples could not understand it. When the husband is sitting the two silence, actually he is trying to overcome and challenging the unhappiness. The wife feels that they are very big wrong. He's not talking with me, getting a misunderstanding. When the wives comes from the office and when they have a very difficult time, as when they tells that her, her, her job is very difficult and something explaining or the complaining, actually she is releasing the, her pressure of the work. But sometimes the husband could not understand that. Now the, here are what you have to learn is today the four things that you have to learn. First is the how we can reduce the worry. Reducing the worry and the managing the anger, how to face with the problem, then cleaning the bodies inside the energy. So now the first thing is that, that we have to know that the, how we can reduce the worry. I want to make the very effective methods to give the effective method to reduce the worry. Because there might be, as I told you, that there might be the many ways people might talk, but we have to find it out the very effective one. So sometimes in our life that the one worry goes and one worry comes. But two worries might go, again four new worries might come. So that's the one of the, our mind, carrying a lot of the worries in our mind. This is a one person, his home is just next to the cemetery. So he always worried that there, uh, there might be the ghost in front, the uh, front of their house. He always worried that because his house is just next to the cemetery. Then he went to, went to see the one master. Then master told him, oh, you don't have to worry at all. I will give you the one locket to wear it. Just wear that. You don't have to worry. Everything will be the fine. But the one thing you have to remember that you should not open that locket. When you open that locket, it will lose the power. Then again, the problem will come. Only thing is that just wear that locket. Don't open that locket. 
then don't worry, everything will be the fine. When he was worrying that and coming back to the home, he felt much better. Now he is not worrying about a ghost, much better. Then when he came back to the home and the, his son, the, he has a small kid. That kid was a little bit curious about the locket. He was touching and touching that locket. After one week later, again he came to see the master. And the master was quite surprised. What happened? Do you still worry about the ghost? Then that person said, now I'm not worrying about the ghost. But my life has become much, much worse than before. Now I could not sleep. Now I feel so worried. So master asked, them, why? What happened? Then he told, now I'm so worried. I could not sleep. Because I'm worried that if I sleep, my kid will open that locket. So I'm so sorry that I could not sleep. <laughs> so something like that is happening in our life. One worry comes and a ghost. Another worry will come. That worry comes again. The two more new worries come. That is a circle is going in our life. So when you worry, where is this time to live happy? Where is the happiness? Then if you ask the master, they will make you a new worry. Wow, they will pick a very scary story. They will tell you, do the good. Otherwise, they will, you will be born in the hell. Not only one hell. I will tell the Buddhism have eight 18 hell. Christian have a one hell. Jewish have a one hell. But the Buddhism increases to the one to the 18. <laughs> now hear the solution. What I am talking about, one worry comes and one worry goes. That is a in happening in our life. Now the here's that the, what I'm giving a talk is how we can reduce that. How we can reduce that. Very simple step. Few I will tell you very simple step then you can see. Now the first step always you have to think that when you're worrying what am I worrying about? You have to know that the, what you're worrying about. There are the, so many people worrying still they don't know that what they are worrying about. Today when you get back write down the first thing that the, what you're worrying about. Then write down one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Then if you find this worry, then the second question you have to ask. You have to think that what I can do for it. Maybe you might be the four worries, okay? You have to think that what you can do for that first worry, second worry, third worry. Second question, when you're arising, you have the different the your worries that what you can do and what you cannot do. There will be the two types of worries. That something that you are worrying that even you can do something. Maybe sometimes you worry that what you cannot do anything. There will be the two types of the worries. When you find it out that you can do, then you have to tell yourself that then why you have to worry? Because you have all the matter to overcome it. Then why you have to worry? Now there were some worries that you would really feel that, that you have no any matters. Then you have to think that if there is no matter to overcome these worries, what use of the worry, it will not make the better. Because the worry and what you're worrying, as I told, uh, as I told the first session, these also are the, your, one of the, your mental habit. You made like this habit. Start, when you worry once, then you will become very prone to the worry. That is a, one of the mental habit. It's just like an alcohol. If you look at the alcoholic person, first, the, first when you take the sip of the alcohol, that might be very difficult. But when you take once and the twice, then it becomes very easy. As I told you, everything is very simple. If you look at alcoholic people, how they treat it. Because they have to change their habit. So they have to adapt the new habit instead of the taking the alcohol. If you look at the chain smoker, to change their habit, what they have to do? You have to give the new habit. So that's why they're introducing the electric cigarette. Same thing, we are using the same method. Buddha was using the same method. So that's why when you're worrying, you have to change the new habit. Always when you started the worry, you have to think that what you can do. What, what you can do it, what you are worry, when you worry, you have to think that what you can do. When you feel you cannot do it, then you have to give the one message to the yourself that what use of the worry. When you feel that you can do something, you, can, you have the method, then you have to tell yourself, then why to worry? So very simple, no? I know that the people like the more complicated one. Because when your life is complicated, you see the complicated, you make the complicated. But I feel that the life is simple. If you look at the simple things, to make that simple things into complicated, it's a easy. To make the complicated things to the simple, that's a difficult. Also, that is a real skill. If you can make the complicated things in the simple, that's a skill. But 
when you are making the simple thing is a complicated that is a not a skill at all everyone can do it even fool people can do that <laughs> when everything become very simple so i feel there is nothing to talk <laughs> when there is a complicate then only discuss can start when there is a problem then only the discussion comes and everything simple is everything fine no need to talk <laughs> So that's why most of the Buddha preference is to keeping the silence. Sometimes when you talk, sometimes when you take the discuss, you will go more far of the reality. So that's why they are saying that the, when the Buddha's son Rahula, when he realized the emptiness, when he realized the emptiness, he have said the one thing, really very interesting thing. He said one thing that the, everything is a beyond of the expression. Everything is a beyond of the thinkable. So that's why, thing is that uh, sometimes uh, when you approach to the reality, when you approach to the emptiness, the word you cannot express that. Very simple way. You know the Harry Potter. If I ask you to explain about the Harry Potter character, if I ask you to explain about the Harry Potter school, you have, I mean, quite a lot of words you can talk about it. You know the why. Because it did not exist at all. You it is not the reality at all. So there are a lot of the words you can talk about it. Can you explain me? What is the test? How do you feel when you drink the tojang? You are drinking their whole life. You have got a lot of the experience. But still you cannot express that. Because when you approach to the reality, when you reach that the reality, the word, it's you cannot express through the word. When you are so far away from the reality, then only you can use the, express the word. To pattern one, we have the saying, I can see only the far away things. When the object becomes too close to the eye, you cannot see like an eyebrow. Eyebrow is the too close to the eye, I cannot see it. Because sometimes reality becomes too close, you cannot see it. Now the exactly same thing, we have to use that method, tactic. When you approach too close to the worry, you won't feel the worry. Now that's the Buddha was talking, that 40 years the emptiness, emptiness, emptiness. Now that method we have to use. So, as I told you before, now when you're getting the worry, when you find the unhappiness, what you have to do, second step, try to search that unhappiness. Try to find that worry, where does it exist? Where does the worry and the unhappiness exist? It exists very much. If you look very far away, it exists very much. If you try to approach more and more closer, you won't find it. There is no exist at all when you approach very too close. When you feel the unhappy, when you feel the worry, just that moment, Try to search that where does that, that unhappiness exist? Where does that worry exist? Try to search that. So now I'll come back to the point, the emptiness point. As I told you before, sometimes you have to get it through the, your experience. Sometimes the word will not help you at all. The, through the, your experience, then you will approach. So what you have to do is that the, so worry, anxiety when you arise, you have to look and search that where does it exist? Try to find it. When you search and search, you will find that it not exists at all. When you it will not it exists at all, then how can you feel it? You will lose the start of the feeling of that worry. Okay, now I will come as a, now the other point, as I told you before, the four point. Now the one point, the other thing is that the, how we can clean up our inner energy body. Physically body, we carry the two types of the energy, positive and a negative energy in our body. So that's why in our body, what are happening is that, that there are the five points of the body where the energy moves out and comes in, that we call the chakra. So energy is something like that, that sometimes when we're that long in our body, when we're having a lot of the negative energy. So that's why it affects lots to the generate the destructive emotions like a worry and anxiety and all the angers. So that's why now my point is here that how we can clean up that, how we can build up the more positive energy in our body. So that term from Tibetan Buddhism, we call that the Dizibab Janava. So that is a generally, it talks about the cleaning of the body energy. 
So that's what the very simple thing is that, that you can just try for the one or two weeks and see that what makes the difference. So if you are very familiar with the Buddha, you can just meditate and think the Buddha and just think that from the Buddhas, they are coming the very white light, white light with the mix up with the nectar coming and just, uh, just entering into your body from your crown chakra. Fill up your body. Then when you feel that the way, with the white light, with the warmness, heat of the dead white light comes when you enter into the, your crown. Sometimes when you're in meditation session, sometimes you might feel the heat and the warmness of the dead white ray. That feels that it does not make that the, you are the different. When you feel that meditating that and when you feel the heat and the warmness, it does not mean that the, you are different. It means that the, what you're meditating is a different. So that's, that's the one thing. Now when you enter into the body, the nectar, you have to fill that, the, your whole the body is filled up with the nectar and the white light that fill up the whole your body. Then when you fill up the body, you have to think that the, all the negative energy form of the very darkness that eliminated all in the, your body.